Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us this Tuesday morning. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas yesterday. Of course, we're still tracking that blizzard out there. For a lot of us, this is a live look now at Lexington or via a wireless camera there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of precipitation coming down, but you may notice here those roads, they're not looking all that great. Of course, not looking all that hot either. Those temperatures may be even colder than that, 29 degrees right now. Of course, you factor the wind chill in as well. It's probably even colder. 20 mile hour wind out of the north-northwest. It is a cold morning, to say the least. Here's what we're dealing with right now. Viper radar showing a little bit of snowfall, mainly in our southern areas right now. Back on a line from near Lincoln, all down to the southwest of parts of northern Kansas. Even that snow trying to build in a little bit and around, see, McCook down to near Imperial as well. That snow moving slowly but surely off to the south and west. Got a few additional light snow showers taking place from, say, near Ainsworth down to near Thedford and North Platte. So maybe a little white wintry mix. Uh, trying to get in the mix up there as well. So once again, roads probably are not going to be in the best of shape again today. Travel may be very uh, tricky, to say the least. Of course, do have a blizzard warning in place for many of our western counties. Again, our southwesternmost areas, that blizzard warning does remain in effect till 6 o'clock central time tomorrow morning. Although there is good news that northern area, the, that blizzard warning resides right now. That expires at 6 o'clock tonight. So maybe some improvements, maybe a little ahead of schedule, which is good to see. A winter weather advisory that's still in place for many of our areas. It does include the Tri-Cities down into parts of northern Kansas, up near O'Neill as well, until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're not out of the woods yet. More snow is on the way as this big low pressure system tries to eventually work its way out of here, but uh, that's finally going to clear up tomorrow night. And as a result, just see our northern and western areas, maybe some central areas to get a little bit of light snowfall again for today. Snow chances continuing into tonight again, but of course, much more scattered these snow showers will be today rather than what we saw yesterday during the day on Christmas, where it was more widespread, more steady. So once again, a few scattered snow showers lingering into tomorrow as well, maybe even a little bit into early tomorrow night, but things finally should be clearing out by Thursday as high pressure and more, say, better and uh, quiet weather builds its way back into the picture here the next week. Feature snowfall totals, this may be overdone just a little bit, but I would not be shocked over, say, today and tomorrow that we do end up getting another inch or two out of this big system that we're dealing with. So once again, the roads probably aren't going to be in the best of shape again today. Here's a few snowfall reports. These are as of 6 o'clock last night, so some of these may be even higher as well. Six inches, the preliminary report in around Central City. Five and a half inches at Cozan Hastings. The official report there at 3.4 inches out so far, but two and a half inches on all at Grand Island. So even between Central City and Grand Island, which really aren't that far apart from each other, a lot of variance in those snowfall totals, which is probably going to be a theme as we get more snowfall totals rolling in here. Winds gusting to 41 miles an hour out at Ogallala this hour out of the north. Of course, those lighter winds, though, in place in many of our central and eastern areas. So the wind's not too bad for those areas. It could be a little bit lighter there, but western areas, again, with that blizzard warning is those winds still going to be whipping today. Of course, the winds out there reducing our visibility just a mile. Imperial, Oglala, also there at O'Neill. So once again, blowing snow, drifting snow, a possibility with all this wind out there again today. So take it easy on the roads again. Temperatures now mainly in the 20s across our area. These temperatures, they're probably not going to change a whole lot today with that snow chance and the cloud cover in place. And of course, if you back to the wind and out west, single digit wind chills in places like Thedford, Ogallala, down to Imperial as well. So bundle up if you do end up going outside today. Tri Cities looking at a high around 27. Those temperatures pretty steady. Snow blowing snow is still a possibility. Travel still very tricky again today. So be careful if you do have to travel. 17 again for a low tonight. A few scattered snow showers remain even into tomorrow. Let's see a high of 30 though as that system finally clears out tomorrow night. Temps today in the 20s, maybe some low 30s. That's really about it. Those temps back down to the teens and 20s for tonight. Those temperatures tomorrow are pretty similar with that snowpack on the ground. Can keep things pretty cold over the next week. 30s for most of us tomorrow. Maybe some upper 20s remain. We'll be seeing temperatures pretty steady the next week. Upper 20s and 30s seems to be the theme. 35 up to on Saturday, but back down to 29 by Sunday and ringing in the new year on a cold note, Sarah. Yeah, let's get those closer to 40, I think. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> more ideal. At least the lows aren't too bad either, of course. No. Next Sunday night, New Year's Eve. Might be a little chilly, that low of 10 degrees. Yeah. That's 
the colds we've seen in quite some time. So. Yeah, definitely. This December's been pretty nice to it us. It has been. We've been spoiled. Thanks, Cal.